Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic, and today we're gonna be doing something really cool, but be warned, it is to do with knives. So, I don't know, obviously, when we're gonna go back camping, but if you get stuck and you need a peg, well, I did this back year three, first episode of the year, I think it was episode 25 with Jordan, and he showed me how to do some tent pegs. Sir, be safe, but here we are. So, what is the scouting skill that you are gonna teach me and these lovely people here? So, I'm gonna teach a really, really simple skill right. um, and it can come in use when, uh, when you, you're out there in the outdoors and you're potentially okay. unprepared. I yep. know it's not very good for a scouter to not be prepared. I'm sure there's a motto in there Absolutely, somewhere. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple um, tent peg. Fantastic. So, what do we need? Um, so, for the scouting skill, we're going to need um, some wood that we can find lying around on the ground. Right, okay. Um, and a knife. Interesting. I've never been told that I'm allowed to touch knives, so this will be fun. <laughs> so, the sort of wood we're looking for, uh, it depends on the, the size of the, uh, the tent or the guy line or whatever you're going to use this peg for. Right. Uh, but as a rule of thumb, you literally use your thumb. So, it wants to be about as thick uh, as a thumb. Um, okay. So obviously, if you if you're particularly small, maybe make it slightly bigger than your thumb. But an adult thumb, um, and obviously, thumb. <laughs> and depending on again how much it's got to hold is that how much length you're going to need on it. So the other thing you're going to need is uh, a knife, and you just right. need to be ever so ever so careful with this. Okay. And make sure that we're using it in the right way. Yep. Um, so with this particular one, it folds out, and I know that it's locked in place there. Right. Um, so that I know that that particular bit of it's safe, so I can quite safely put my fingers under there, and I know it's not going to close on it. Right. Okay. Uh, but you obviously need to know the knife you're using, right. uh, and if you are particularly young, you're going to need to ask somebody's help for this bit. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is um, we want to imagine that we want to take the top section, probably something like that, yeah. and we're going to put a cross cut in like that, right. um, and then we're going to create a notch for where the rope's going to come under. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. So what we can do is if we put it fairly deep that we can find it again, right, okay. Um, and then the same the other way, right, like that. And obviously this one's still got the bark on it, um, so would you strip the bark off uh, originally, as in um, first of all, or not, or well, does I'd, it matter? I'd probably keep it on, because we're going to strip the bottom part of the bark anyway, and probably a lot of this will end up coming off. Right, okay. Um, so now I'm going to hold the top, and what I want to do is I want to put the knife at the point where the crosses, uh, well, at the point where the two cuts from the edge of the cross, uh, and I want to push that down slightly, and I'm just going to start flicking that up. Okay. So push down, and an, and an upward motion, making sure that it's obviously away from you. Um, and you'll see that it starts to create that notch. Now this is actually quite a hard wood, um, which is, is good. Is there a specific wood that you would pick out there? With the wood. Um, which wood is best? Uh, if you can find some drier wood, it'd be good. Right. Um, okay. But uh, obviously, dead wood is best, we don't want to be harming those trees out there. That is true. Um, but, uh, I'd say, you know, I mean you can use any wood if it's if it's going to be uh, having to hold a lot of weight, then a harder wood is better, right. but it okay. obviously takes that bit much, uh, that little bit more effort yeah. uh, to create the notch. Um, so what we do is we're starting to yeah, create like this a notch. Group, yeah. We can start to see that it's starting to get that, that notch in it there, yeah. and that's that's where our uh, our rope's going to sit under. Right. Um, so, again, depending on the, the thickness of what it the rope it's got to have round it, it's again, how, yeah, yeah it's right. going to depend on how far in we want to go. The other thing we need to be careful of is that we don't go too far into the wood, yes. uh, where it's going to make this a particular weak point. Right. Okay. Um, because obviously then our, our tent will come crashing down at like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. What we're going to do is so that we can actually get this into the ground, is we're yeah. going to create a point here. Right. Uh, okay. So again, we need to be pushing this away from us. Right. Um, but this is where we're going to start stripping off the bar because right. we're going to be bringing it to a point. Oh, okay. um, like this. 
So it's up to you as to your technique, but I mean, I'm, I'm pushing the knife away, but what you can do is you can actually pull the wood towards you, oh, which isn't okay. as much effort. So it's it does depend right. uh, on your preference. So I'm just gonna stand up so I can do this quickly, okay. Do you need protective glasses at all? Sitting in the start <laughs> I, I don't, just, yeah, you oh, might. Right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so with that, obviously we've got the notch for the yeah. uh, for the rope, and it's obviously coming to a point here, uh, and that should go very nicely into the ground, uh, and should take should take your rope like that. So there you are. Wow! So if you make your own tent pegs out of twigs and sticks, we want to see them. And yeah, that's quite cool. It's a souvenir for you. Oh, thank you, you. thank you. If you enjoyed that video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and also, don't forget to share, because we should. We should be sharing these ideas, um, but be safe with this one. And hopefully, I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Don't, don't cut yourself though, okay?